Are you curious to know if pores actually open and close? Make sure to watch today's video to find out. lovely. I'm Carmen, founder of Luminosity Acne Skincare. I'm also a licensed esthetician that specializes in the successful treatment of acne. Now really quickly before we get into today's video, I just want to bring your attention down to the links below because I have a link where you can download a free copy of my list of pore clogging ingredients to avoid. I give this list to all of my clients because the first step to take toward clear skin is always eliminating every single pore clogging ingredient from skincare and makeup products. So make sure to grab your copy today. Okay, let's go ahead and get into today's video, which is whether pores open or close. So when you first start getting more interested in skincare, a lot of times one of the first tips you'll come across is to use hot water and steam to open up the pores and then to do a cold water rinse to close them back up. The goal for many people with wanting to open and close their pores is to open them up to get a deeper clean and then to close them back up in order to minimize the pore size. However, it's a complete myth that pores open and close because pores do not have flaps. And side note, remind me never to use the word flap again. Um, anyway, but yeah, they don't have flaps. Pores also are not a muscle, so they cannot open and close that way either. Now, while pores themselves are not muscles, they do have a tiny muscle attached to, attached to them known as the erector pili. The function of the erector pili is that when it contracts, it basically makes the hairs on your body stand up or goosebumps. That's usually how most of us um, notice this muscle working. So when you get goosebumps and the hair stands up, basically the purpose of that is to try to trap heat in order to uh, make your body more warm. Now, of course, these days humans have a lot less body heat uh, than our ancestors did. So even though the erector pili is a muscle that is still functioning, um, as far as um, a source of heat for our bodies, for most of us, it doesn't really have um, that actual benefit anymore. Now one function of the erector pili muscle that is relevant today is that it's thought that this muscle also helps oil travel up the hair follicle and out of the pore. Now let's go back to opening up the pores. So what can happen during steaming, especially if you steam in combination with like an enzyme mask or an enzyme peel. Um, now key word is enzyme, not chemical. So definitely never use steam or heat with chemical peels, but with enzymes, it's totally okay to use steam with it. In fact, a lot of times enzymes are required to use steam, but not always. Um, and that's because the steam and heat can help soften oil, which will soften the impactions inside of the pore, which in turn will make extractions a lot easier. Now with that said, if you have inflamed breakouts like pustules or cysts, definitely stay away from steam and steam facials because the excess heat and humidity um, of the steam can definitely inflame and irritate your acne worse. In fact, there's something known as tropical acne, which is basically just really bad inflamed acne in tropical regions or regions when there's constant heat and humidity in the air. Steam really would be more appropriate for non-inflamed acne like blackheads or closed comedones. And one last thing is that you honestly don't want to be able to have the ability to close your pores you really wanna keep them as is uh, open, which again, it's not really opening the pores, it's just how the pore is. You really wanna keep it unblocked or open because anytime that you um, close off your pores or they're blocked, that actually is going to create an anaerobic environment, which is just an environment that lacks oxygen. Now, um, the inflamed acne causing bacteria actually thrives in environments without oxygen. So you definitely want to um, be able to have the ability for oxygen to flow through the pore and just kill off this bacteria. So yeah, it's definitely in your skin's best interest that you don't have the ability to close your pores. All right, so that is it for this video. I do hope that you found it helpful. Now, if you're interested in working with me toward clear skin, then please visit my website at luminosityacne.com. I have two options for you. The first one is for anyone who lives close by to my North Carolina office, you can come in and see us locally. Uh, the other option is for anyone who doesn't live close to me, um, even if you live in another country, you can still get beautiful, healthy, clear skin because I do have acne kits that ship worldwide. So even if you live halfway across the world, um, again, you can still get clear skin. And just super quickly, I'm gonna pop in some before and after photos of my actual clients. These photos are clients that have either come into the office and worked with us personally, or they've uh, lived nowhere near me and purchased a kit. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel for more acne related videos. Also follow me on Instagram 
And yeah, that is it. So I will see you ladies in my next one. Take care.